Hello my friends and uh, welcome to this video. I'm uh, talking about something special today. Um, you see my innovation circuit here, and there, and this is my light pad. And why do I show you my iPad in combination with my innovation circuit? Because uh, one very brilliant guy did something I didn't expect um, that it would be released ever, but he did. He programmed an iPad, um, an iPad app to control your circuit and this app is not just uh, oh come on um, I'm doing this and I'm doing that and okay that's not looking really good but uh, let's release this uh, it's not this kind of thing it's really really good um, and if you uh, if you watch this video and we come to an end then and you don't say this is a good app. I, I don't know <laughs> why you think this. Um, so let's start with the easy things. Um, don't know if you can see everything here. We have a kind of menu here on the right corner. Uh, the first menu here is knobs. The second menu is the mixer for all your... Um, your lines, this is SYNT1, SYNT2, um, here uh, are the drum um, lines and the percussion lines. Then you have your editor. And with this small menu, you get a second menu down below. Uh, we're talking about this later on. Um, the third uh, the fourth here is uh, the settings menu. Uh, you can change the SYNT1 and SYNT2 and drums MIDI channel to control them. And you can activate or de deactivate auto save patches. And you get a user guide if you, uh, if you need it. I don't need such guides or manuals. I uh, try out myself and... Um, try to understand things this way. Okay, then let's get back to the editor. Here, of course, the editor is the biggest thing um, you get with this app. You can change SYNT1 to SYNT2 here. And yeah, SYNT1 is uh, purple, SYNT2 is green. And you can play your instrument here really easy like you know but you can also you see it here there if i change something on my circuit you see directly a, a reaction here on the app so we can change every knob here. And the best thing in this menu is that you can see what, what you do with your knob. Uh, the problem with the circuit is you have just have to know uh, if I turn the knob six, uh, this and this is, happen, is happening or this and that is happening. Um, with this app, you have the possibility to see directly what this knob does. And this is really good, really good for everyone um, who, who don't know what the special of the knobs is. This is a really, really good feature in, in this app. So we are in the editor and in the editor, you can also change every function of the knob with a fingertip 
you see it here and you can directly hear what you change so we we take a knob five here and uh, we, we change the sand tune and uh, maybe you, if you press on the on the text you get a second menu you can see all the all the parameters you can change you can add here the filter cutoff frequency and then you set the depth to low maybe and as I said, the best thing is that you directly can see So let's uh, just um, uh, record something We need a bass So, and if I change the parameters here, see it here. So, you can directly in your live performance see what you're doing. And this is really good. So, we go deeper into the, the uh, editor. The second uh, menu here on the low uh, second point of the menu is uh, voice. You can change the voice. You can do everything you can uh, do in on the PC. You can do here with your iPad. Um, you can change the filter. You can change the envelopes here. So I, I, um, I changed the release. And you got di uh, a direct um, reaction of your sound you change the LFOs the side or um, the usability of the menus is really really good this is the mod matrix the mod matrix is um, the configuration tool for your knobs. You can set the knobs on um, fixed parameters or you can here use one of 20 mod matrix matrixes. Don't know the, the plural here. Um, and this mod matrix says you can here, uh, you can configure it on this page. Uh, slot one to slot 20 and 
this is really really uh, good for for starters of this you can see um, all the functions you can use to change this matrix and later on you can use this here for your knob you go here and then you uh, you choose here what matrix 1 to 20 and maybe you can use four mod matrix matrices for one knob so i go to 7 i change this to mod matrix 1 this to mod matrix 2 and it's so easy here to to work with this tool in in my um i i have uh, had a lot of problems with the pc i, I have to uh, put on my pc and then i have to connect the the circuit to the pc and then uh, work with the uh, with the tool and so on and this is more easy for me because the ipad is here i connect this i can use both together this is a really good um, thing in my opinion so okay the latest latest thing we we uh, I, I showed you was the mod matrix we have the fx section here um, to change these parameters of the fx um, to set them on the knobs you can uh, set them here and you can change the patches at as well here and you can you have here uh, an action button and with this action button you can save the patch to ipad so you can save the patch you changed here to your ipad and load it later on this is possible you can initialize the patch so if i go on initialize the patch then i have nothing else than a sawtooth on both here and you can just work with this and the same here, these are your oscillators, oscillator 1, oscillator 2, change it and work with it. Easy, poly, money, autoglide, it's everything is here to, to, uh, to work with. You can randomize the current patch, so I press here, then I can uh, change some parameters and Go on randomize and then I got a randomized patch. I randomize again. I do hear nothing. Okay, I s let's check the wavetables and go. Randomized patch. Great. Great function. Okay, but the best feature here for, okay, just before we change uh, the menu again, the best feature here, um, I'm showing you later on, uh, here you have your reverb and your delay, and I can change it here. And I can mute my audio out. And this is not just um, this is not just hello. Okay, uh, this is not just on off. 
like here on the circuit, on and off, it's it's between 0 and 127. Like a mixer, like you know this uh, with a mixer. So you can maybe just pull on your like a performance tool, you know? Okay, I like it. So now I'm showing you the best feature here in this app. Uh, it's brilliant, but we changed the patch for the moment. Yeah, let's let's take this here. So This page saves your current knobs position. So if I hold this here, this memory slot A1 is saved. Now I'm going to change some parameters and save it here. And now I have the possibility to switch between the both So hello Yuri you programmed this very very nice can we get an automation on this please is it possible um, so you you can this is something you can noodle around hours and hours. You find a position for your sound. You save it. Then go on. Save it. So now we have the, these both here. And I can... Do it smooth if I want, you know? You, sh you see this? You know why I... Can we automate? Do an automation on this? No, it's not recorded. No, it's not recorded. But this this is a great feature if you can uh, in in any way uh, do an automation on this or well, give us an X Y pad to just um, do our fingers here and left, right, up and down, and whatever. Uh, great, I love it. Definitely, I love this so much. And um, we, we change here to, to Sin 2. This, this is the same. Now this is not poly. Oh, this is not relevant for the moment. Go on the mixer and then I can put up the FX here to see it. And we can change the reverb type of reverb and the type of delay here. We can 
we can do so brilliant delays here. It's awesome. Just listen. This is an endless, an endless delay. <laughs> So we can time sync this and uh, change this with a, with a norma normal uh, time knob here. Think about the possibilities. You can use this easy in your live performance, no problem. You can just use at least this here is unbelievable great. Save your settings. No problem. So, let's check it out. Or oh, the slow version. So you see, um, there is so many possible in an app, and if this guy Yuri is his name, um, does a bit more here to finish this, uh, this would be a, a great tool to uh, to use. Definitely. I hope you like it. Um, if you want to test this, it's free. Go to the Circuit Innovation Circuit Facebook group, search for the thread, the post of Yuri, and uh, just install the time. Or just let me look it up. It's uh, Test Flight is the name of the app, and then there's a link you can. Um, click the link and then. Uh, this tool uh, got installed on your iPad. Uh, the name is Circuitry. Uh, I don't know <laughs> how I can pronounce this. I, I think it's Circuitry. Circuitry. Circuitry? 
Maybe it's circuitry. Here, you see it here. It's maybe it's circuitry. Here. Okay, don't 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 be angry. You really <laughs> Uh, I think it's circuitry. So thank you for watching this. Uh, thank you for testing uh, the app. Uh, thank you for um, being so uh, um, so kind users and subscribers of my channel. Um, I like that very much, and I hope I help you with this for your own music. Uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.